Hey, get back here. So we got out of position Deion Sanders and Megatron. Let's go through Deion's stats first. I ended up deciding to take the plunge and get Sprinter tier three. So I got him up to 98 speed. Him and uh, Megatron were the reason I switched over. Uh, but basically, I guess this card's another version, a cheaper version of like Tyreek or T.Y. Hilton, which uh, isn't too terrible. But I kind of want to see those elusive stats in action. I, I kind of want to see what he can do with the ball in his hand. So. I'm going to switch to the playbook that allows him to do that best at running back. Uh, the only one I know of in the run and shoot. Uh, we're going to hand the ball off to him a little bit. Uh, obviously, we'll try and pass him the ball. But let's. Uh, we're going to put uh, Megatron as our user, too. We got a 94 speed, 6 foot 5. We got the John Madden boost. He comes st stock at 91. Uh, acceleration, 93. Play rack, 92. Zone coverage, 97. So actually, not a terrible like deep middle safety. Obviously, the hit power... Uh, won't be jarring out too many balls, unfortunately. Uh, catching's pretty good. Uh, the jumping, of course, 96 is going to get you those uh, nice little glitchy picks, of course. Although, I mean, like, his catching's not as good as it could be, right? They, they nerfed every single stat, the catching stat, uh, two from his regular card, his most feared card, for no reason that I know of. So, they done a lot with uh, the out of position. The same thing with uh, Sanders. They took a speed off him. Maybe it was to keep them well balanced in this game, but... Um, I don't know. That, I think that's just one of the many complaints that we've had with the out of position promo. I'll just go through the rest of my team. You guys can see it. And then I switch, uh, I'll switch playbooks here. So, uh, Megatron, like, it's kind of frustrating, right? We just want guys in this to the ball. Like, is this promo just so golden tickets are better uh, and more relevant uh, and different? Because by then we'll have 99 stats across the board. Now we can get uh, Megatron golden ticket, but we'll see him in, what, four or five months from now? Uh, it, it, it's too bad right but i mean the speed at least they didn't nerf that still 91 on this card uh the agility at 93 means he can go side to side pretty well so we'll see if he is as dominant a user as he has been in years past um i will probably be keeping him on the team for a while um i don't know like at free safety two i'm not too happy about putting him there uh because the he's on the kickoff coverage and as you know he doesn't have a lot of time so four man pastures is getting absolutely blanketed what was that six or seven man protection I didn't uh, see, but man, that was a lot of time in the pass rush. Uh, a lot of time in the pocket for that uh, kind of pass rush. There, I was using Megatron, and uh, he got absolutely run over. So, the do not use him if you're going to try and stop the run with him. He's just not that good. He has aggressive blocking on. Uh, we ended up taking the taking the penalty. He's running crosses with a slant underneath. Uh, nice little scheme there to get it up to third and 15. I think he took a uh, delay a game. We got him blanketed. Trying to run crossers. Looks kind of open, actually, down the field there. Not really. Vike Vic can't get out the pocket. He kicks it and a doink. So, Megatron right away. Obviously, exactly what you think he is. Uh, no uh, run stuff. There is there is Mr. Dion. I tried the double spin. Can't get home. So, I'm handing it off 21 there in the backfield. Woo! He is a, he is a blur. He is lightning. Would I rather use a Dion or Megatron? I don't know. I mean, 98 speed versus 94. Because I got 98 on the Dion, although a CB I can get to 99, so yeah, it's, it, it, is, it, it does kind of suck the nerve. But regardless, here we are outside. Oh, take off! User can't catch him, and down the edge. Oh, just able to be dragged down in, uh, there. So we'll just QB sneak it in for a touchdown. Anyways, back at it. User Mega trying to cross the field. Mr. Johnson, Johnson, not even testing our user yet. But trust me, oh, it's coming. Not now. Not next week. But sooner than next week. Yes. Just wait. Oh, you thought I was going to get that one too. Slay, what the hell? Why are you beat over top? That was a cover three. Why are you beat over top? So I got to play I gotta play uh, sticks every single day, uh, play now. Because uh, Slay just wants to lose over top. I'm sending the spy currently. But for some reason, the guy on the spy or near there did not want to go. So, uh, Madden Quirks, right? Woo, Madden Quirks. Nice little over the top pattern, I guess. Crossing route. It is what it is. Those are so hard to stop, but that's what Madden is, right? You exploiting the overpowered mechanics. So Megatron, how do I feel like he moves on the field? He's okay. Um, not the most fluid user I've used. Obviously, like I talked about, I've I've tried to use Dion before there. Um, wow, nice nice play. I think I hit the wrong button there even, and they still got home. So back to Dion. Oh, off the hand. He it looks like he was gonna break that first tackle, and the second guy came through and ruined my day. So that sucked. Cross the middle. We were gonna check it down to uh, running back. Dion, but he decided to play the check down instead of the four vert route. So we'll of course take it, and then Franco with his uh, truck specialist will truck us into the end zone, uh, and, and we will take. Oh, LT tackled the wrong guy out of the pocket. Send the spy. He likes that. He likes that deep crossing route. 
four verts. Oh, look at that. Look at how fast Megatron got back to cover that four vert route. He had a, he had a chance to get that early where I wasn't able to use it. Uh, but uh, he, he didn't, he didn't uh, unfortunately for him, fortunate for me. But uh, Sky up, end of the first half. Take it down. So what do you guys think about the opposition promo? I, myself, a little bit of letdown. I don't know if it's because of the community hate last year for why they nerfed them. Uh, whether people thought it was unrealistic that I just throw deep at the end of the half. Sanders doesn't get an animation, but uh, makes sense, I guess. We were double covered. Shouldn't get paid off for catching in double coverage. We just chuck it up because Madden's become like a, a spray and pray. At least like near the goal line or like close high point passes. Here's, I guess, a good onside kick. He just got unfortunate. So if you get surprised onside kick, not touched at the nine and a half yard line. Pretty good. Whoop! And he's gone. I mean, no one's catching you. 98 speed. Like the only people that can catch you are yourself. And you're not going to do that because you never betray yourself, right? So, so yeah, I, I like it. Um... But I don't like it. Like last week, I said uh, we had we we got a great user in Sean Taylor, right? So we got a good user, uh, but nothing else. And then they replaced they, they had a new Sean Taylor come out a couple days later, so we became useless. But that was the issue with the old program. Like this this week though, out of position. Like they could have done so much. They could have done a little bit better job, but make it more fun. I don't know. What about Legends out of position? Like besides for just Dion, could we have done more of them? Like wh how? Where is Chuck Bednarik? Right? Where's where is the actual Iron Man? That was weird, right? Would he come out of a present then? Is he going to be one of the Iron Man presents? I can see that. That would make a lot of sense if he's one of those Iron Men. Uh, but uh, I guess that's still to be seen. He throws it across and... Oh! Dion can't even stop the man coverage. So on offense, he's doing well. Defense, not. Yeah, just kind of running the same long developing routes that everybody else runs. We sent, uh, what, four or five there? Uh, and, and yeah, he just got kind of all day to get it. Woo! Not there. Three-man pass rush getting home. Nice. He's blocking seven. And he had a tight end block LT. Don't have your tight end block LT. Big tip. Just the tip. All right, so he decides to go down 11. Uh, 44 seconds left. We, we decided to come out in the onside kick and uh, stop him effectively. So that one didn't really work as well as the first one for him. Didn't take me that by, by surprise. I waited for it to show. Dion on the crosser. Oh, on the post route, man to man against Mid Blitz. Woo -hoo -hoo. Mid Blitz is uh, worst enemy is when you block six people and uh, you call sliding routes. Oh, we tried again to force a Dion. I shouldn't have had that. I realized I shouldn't have had that uh, drag on the oh, drag on the field because it let his user right to me. Megatron, Megatron, you let that up. What the heck? I thought I was. Uh, uh, you promised the people user interception with Megatron, and you didn't get it. And not there. So I think I think uh, if you really want uh, Kelvin to do his best, what you need to do is blitz heavy, really heavy, because then he can get glitchy picks for you like this. Yoink! And guess what? That may have broken the back of my opponent because he is out. I stepped on a crack, broke his mother back. Uh, but Megatron, probably the best user in the game right now, uh, with the exception of against the run, but against the pass he is. Uh, otherwise, like, LT would be better than him for a full user because of his nomination against the run. Uh, but Sanders on offense, yeah, agility, great. Get into his hands. I don't think he's better than Tyreek or TY wide receiver, though. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.